roads and rails. Situation there is going to change in storm force Maria La is here. All important forecasts as we get ready. All right, a lot to get everyone caught up. New right now, we have yeah. a blizzard warning that's been issued for wow. Monmouth and Ocean Counties. You don't see that that often, but it's that level of storm. That's that area in orange, also Atlantic County. That's a very specific criteria to met. It's independent of snow amount. It's about visibility and wind speed, but I will tell you, amounts here are going to be a lot. And then we've seen a lot of areas go from the winter storm watch to the warnings areas in pink. The blue here for everyone else, Pikes Sullivan, Ulster County, Orange County, uh, we're in that winter weather advisory category. Okay, so if you went to bed last night before 11 p.m., you didn't get the update. We're now looking at 8 to 12 inches of snowfall in the city, 12 to 18 south and east, and then some wind gusts still in that 40 to 60 mile per hour range, and we're still looking at dangerous wind chills and uh, as well as coastal flooding. I apologize for the change in the color table. I will fix that. Uh, but you can see 8 to 12 inches of snowfall through the city and back through uh, parts of Westchester and Fairfield County and into Middlesex County. Monmouth and Ocean in that 12 to 18, as is Queens, Nassau, Suffolk County, and parts of Fairfield County in that 12 to 18, where we also upped it 18 to 24 inches of snowfall now for eastern half of Suffolk County. North and west, a little bit less, but very impactful snow. You're talking three to five inches of snow. The shovels are out, the plows are out, so still for parts of northwestern New Jersey. The status now, it's not on the map just yet, and we may see some snow showers from this front. I'll talk about that coming up in just a little bit. But Emily, it's going to be an interesting day out there today. Parts. <laughs> yes, absolutely. And uh, the time window, it is closing, but we have a little bit more time. Any snowflakes you see today, this is ahead of a cold front. Uh, they may be out there, maybe enough for a quick coating. But temperatures stay close to freezing. It is really that go time about 7 p.m. We'll start to see the edge of our storm creep to the north and really get going as we get past the midnight hour. In fact, our hour by hour uh, forecast shows that by uh, New York City and Long Island, Connecticut down the shore really ramping up by four or five in the morning. That continues through the midday. Notice less so for north and western areas, but still in that dark blue for Long Island, Connecticut, well into the afternoon and evening. That's where we're going to see those highest totals. But as far as travel goes, you want to avoid it for this reason. We have the heavy snow coming together with the highest winds that really start to kick in, especially early tomorrow. And is that combination that will make this storm treacherous, along with the potential for power outages as we see those gusts approach 60 miles per hour. I'll talk more about that, the extreme cold as well, and a warm up in that 10 day forecast. Thanks. All oh, right. I think we'll start to see some of the snow from that developing storm system pushing in from the south. So let's give you a synopsis here of what we're looking at. Still expecting that storm to ramp up tonight. Uh, we're going to see 40 to 60 mile per hour wind gusts most of the first half, especially of the day tomorrow. Wind chills below zero. Coastal flooding and beach erosion all on the table from the Jersey Shore to Long Island. A few changes, though, from yesterday. We're upping some of the snow totals, probably where you are. 8 to 12 inches of snow in the city, 12 to 18 south and west. That includes for Long Island and the Jersey Shore and parts of Connecticut. Also added, uh, we have that potential for 8 to 12 inches of snow for eastern Suffolk County. Now, north and west of the city, still potential for that significant snow. 5 to 8 inches of snowfall is not nothing, and you'll see those pl plows out. You'll need to shovel. But there is the highest uh, uh, potential if we start to see changes to the forecast to see some lower end totals here to the north and west. With that said, uh, we're also looking at not just the actual total, but the timing of all of this. And at the peak of the storm, in that zone where you could be that 12 to 18 plus, the peak of the storm tomorrow, we could be looking at one to two inches of snowfall falling per hour. Those are the rates. And that is extremely difficult to keep up with on the roads. Uh, certainly zero visibility if you are going to try and be out there. Uh, obviously, we're recommending not to. On top of this heavier snowfall, we're going to start to see the winds really pick up. I want to talk about that aspect because consistently for hours, 30 plus mile per hour wind gusts. That's enough for heightened power outage uh, concerns here. So make sure everything's charged up uh, before you go to bed tonight. We have by 6 a.m. 30 to 40 mile per hour winds for most of our area, 50 plus potentially for Suffolk County. So we're really looking at all the high end impacts there for Suffolk County. Even as we get into tomorrow evening, 30 to 40 mile per hour wind gusts. Finally, by Sunday morning, we start to see things ease up a little bit. But it is that common combination
combination of the wind, the falling and blowing snow that now has parts of Monmouth and Ocean County in that blizzard warning. That's regardless of snow total. It's all about the visibility and the wind. Just about everywhere else, we're in that winter storm warning, and you can see those counties expected to have less. Uh, Warren, Sussex, Orange County in that advisory. Not much happening now. This is the spot we'll be watching for that area of low pressure to develop. The blue on the radar now, that's ahead of a cold front, so any snowflakes you see over the next few hours related to that. Temperatures now at 30 degrees. We're headed into the low 30s. Nice and calm. The winds are calm. Everything ramps up. A number up like this, like, okay, let's get it up there. Wrap it up, wrap it up. Let's get out of here. <laughs> yeah, that's a good thing. Um, definitely have time to make preparations or get some things done today. It is going to be most